Hi there guys, thank you for tuning in to our channel once again. Today's video request is how to use Canva for YouTube logo on PC. So let's get started. Here on our homepage, we're first going to go to the search bar and we're going to type in here <laughs> logo. To view all of their logo templates, we're going to click on see all right over here and we will be taken to the templates page. So here on the templates page, feel free to choose any logo you'd like to use and modify. And once you find one, click on it and click on customize this template. All right, we're going to wait for a couple of seconds for the editing page to load up. And here we are. You can find even more templates on the side panel over here in case you want to change the one you already have. You can also go to the search bar and look for specific templates by inputting relevant keywords. Say, for example, um, this one's already fashion, I guess. So let's say cooking or gaming and so much more. All right, so we're now going to get started. We're going to edit our logo. Since we're trying to create a YouTube logo, you can actually create a logo however you want. You can modify this one. You can change your change it to your name. For example, that's Jane. And then um, for example, fashion, fashion, um, okay, fashion Jane. I think it's lacking something. Maybe we could say fashion with Jane. Perhaps that'll be a lot better. We can edit the, um, we can go to effects and edit the curve of this. Or maybe we can remove the uh, curve overall and just do something like this. And to make it um, proportional, oh, I don't know if I said the correct word, but we're just going to make sure that it's properly centered. And something like that. Okay, well, you have to be creative when creating your own logo. It should be different from others. Um, even though we made changes to the original template that we had earlier, I think it still somehow resembles it. So I think it's better. Oh, we have another one right here. I think it's actually, I think it's actually a lot better if we create our own logo from scratch and just take a look at other logos as inspiration. So we're going to look at cooking, for example. And we're going to take a look at other templates here and see how they made their logos. And maybe we could take those as a guide so that we can also create our very own logo from scratch. You can start by going to the element section and say, for example, we're making a logo for a cooking channel. So what I like to do, I always like to use the um, circle circle element or circle shape. Feel free to choose any color you'd like to use. I like to use a circle because it gives me an idea of um, where I should put my elements and it kind of is already a guide, uh, a layout guide for me, if you know what I mean. And I'm going to go here and search for cooking elements. I'm going to go to graphics and I'm going to take a look at what um, graphic elements they have here that are related to cooking. And maybe we can use that in our logo. This one's nice, but I think it's, yeah, I think it's, it suits pastry more. So yeah, we're going to give it a try. Oh, I didn't mean to crop it. Let's keep looking. So basically just keep on looking for elements that you'd like. Yeah, maybe we could search for a plate. Perhaps this one would do. We could change it to, hmm. Yeah, maybe that's okay. We'll deal with that 
later. And then we're going to go ahead and look for spoon and select a spoon element from here. Why don't we say spoon and fork? I think we have this one here. Okay. And I'd like to change the color to white like that. And this one to this one. I'm going to duplicate it by pressing this button. And I am going to crop the, the elements. Crop. I'm going to do the same thing for the other one. Crop. Okay. Now we have a spoon and a fork. And a plate, of course. Now it's time to add our um, text. But I think I'm distracted by, yeah, by that, I don't know, that brown color. So maybe, maybe we could search for food. Or maybe we could use this one instead. Yeah, I think that looks nice. Okay, now we're going to add our text. So I'm going to press T on my keyboard to add a text box right here. Or you can go to the text button on the sidebar. And then you can either click click <laughs> on add a text box or scroll down and find some awesome text templates for you to use. I think this looks nice. Let's try to use this one. I'm going to move that out of the way first in case I need that later. I'm going to ungroup this so that we can edit the elements one by one. And then I'm going to change this to... Um, we're going to go with a basic, um, basic name. So my... And then we're going to change the color. We're going to go here and click. I'm going to highlight and say my. And I'm going to go to the effects and choose shadow. Maybe we could change the color of the shadow to black. And I think it's much better. It's much um, visible, much more visible. And I am going to click on my, click outside, click on my text again, and click on this button that looks like three dots. And I am going to copy style and paste it here. Okay. And I'm going to replace this with kitchen. My kitchen. Perhaps we could adjust. The position of our elements. Just like that. Okay. I'm going to delete this one now. I don't need it anymore. Um, you can actually create different versions of your um, design so that you'll have a lot of variations and you'll be able to also get to choose. Now I'd like to change this layout. Maybe I could remove these and say my kitchen. And in order to kind of like add a contrast, maybe I could change the uh, font for this one. I'm going to try to find a font over here that would suit um, a cooking Kind of like a cooking, I don't think this is it, a cooking logo, I mean. Can't really find anything else. So maybe we could just manually look for a text or a font. So I'm going to go over here and try to look for an awesome font that I'd be able to use. Ah, this one looks really nice. I like it. 
and instead of tilting it maybe we could do it like that or instead of saying my you could place your name over there my kitchen And then instead of these um, spoon and fork elements, maybe we could use um, different elements instead. How about a chef's hat? And maybe we could put a chef's hat over here, change it to white. Yeah, I think it looks so much better. And if you like to change the color, you can also do that. Okay, I think that looks so much better. Now, I think I like this one better. It's really simple. But yeah, also quite attractive. And if you'd like to keep adding elements to it, just go ahead and do that. As for me, I really like the splash element, so I'm going to go to graphics and look for that splash element, this one. And I'm going to put that over here. And change the color to white again. And I'm going to duplicate it. Rotate it. Place the other one right over here. Okay, I think that's it. And yeah, you can keep on designing your logo so that you'll have a lot of options to choose from. And once you're happy with all of your logo designs, then go ahead and click on Share. Then go to Download. And here you'll be able to select the uh, file type you'd like your logos to be saved as. Then before you download it, or download them if you want to download all of them at once then make sure to adjust other download settings as well according to your preferences and then make sure to include all of the pages if you want to download all of them at once once you're done click on download and that's it that's how you create a logo for your youtube channel in canva Basically, a logo, a cooking logo, or any other logo, um, for that matter. You can create whatever logo you want here in Canva. So, thank you so much for creating with us today. Um, we hope you found today's video of help somehow. And we look forward to seeing you again in the next video. You have a great day.